So welcome back. We're here to talk about another very important little tool for this whole concept of nutrition farming. Now, it came about with a woman who developed a couple of patents for specific blood tests and did quite well, retired, bought some land and realized that there's not a simple test to measure soil life. And so she thought she went about developing something to achieve that. Unfortunately, she really didn't get to see the expansion of this thing because it's really, really become popular because it was just what was needed in this approach to take some of the guesswork out of the equation. And we'll talk about it. The tool's called a microbiometer and I'm about to show you how you can utilize it. It's available for under $300. This is Australian dollars, so maybe 200, 220 US. And it comes with 10 kits, uh, testing kits in that, initial, in that initial buy. And the concept, we'll just go through how it works. Well, first of all, we'll talk about some of the reasons that, that you might use it. Obviously, you can, it helps you determine what's working. I mean, you know, you brew a microbial brew and you've got a tank full of dirty water uh, you know, that now you can test that tank full of dirty water. You can measure the microbial biomass to know whether you've successfully brewed. You can measure your compost. You can measure a compost you're buying or planning to buy to check how good it is by measuring a separate little reading within this device. And you can measure, or the app that's associated with the device, you can measure a compost. You can measure a compost tea. You can measure a compost extract. Or, of course, you can measure a soil. And so now, now you can look at sort of you know, nutrition farming remediations like multi-species cover crops and your confidence is there because you see you, du you double your microbial biomass for argument's sake in that scenario. Now that was a cool thing in its own right, the idea of being able to measure microbial biomass, but then there was an addition added to, to the app uh, and that's a really, really important thing called the fungi to bacteria ratio. Uh, this is, you know, arguably two key ratios in the soil, the calcium to magnesium ratio determines if your soil's breathing, and the fungi to bacteria ratio, the single most important biological ratio. And we're looking on this meter at a one-to-one -one fungi to bacteria ratio as being ideal, and that's across the board. Normally we talk about tree crops perhaps being more fungal dominated, but in this measurement, we're looking for that one-to-one -one reading. And what we normally see or commonly see is 90% bacteria, 10% fungi, because bacteria are much more resilient than fungi. They don't like to be sliced and diced. They don't like fungicides. They don't particularly like herbicides. And so we've knocked the hell out of that particular part, hugely important part of the soil food web. And so this meter will tell you, am I improving my fungi to bacteria ratio? Does, does humic acid increase the ratio? Does a, a cocktail cover crop improve my fungi to bacteria ratio, particularly if there are some legumes? And talking about legumes, we're out at Collins Farm. This is sun hemp, part of his cover crop, and this is his beautiful crumbly soil. Uh, he planted this particular soil, three cover crops between a ginger crop, which is really unusual because ginger is usually five year spell, but he does three, three cover crops and then puts ginger back year after year and grows beautiful ginger. So the soil is like a sponge when you walk on it, beautiful crumbly soil. Uh, and we're gonna start by uh, taking a sample and we'll talk, talk about how this meter works now. So. First off, we get a water sample. So you get a little container and you fill it with water and it's very precise, the amount of water in, in that container fully filled. And that's important because this is you know, part of the accuracy that's required. So we've got that full container. We pour it into a second test tube, which will three quarters fill that test tube. You can see there. And we set that up. Now we take her little concoction, the little powder that she developed, that we're gonna dissolve into that test tube so we'll just organize that. And the kit, the kit comes, the kit comes with a little stirring machine, little battery powered stirrer that we're going to use to dissolve that powder. And that's a fairly quick process because it's quite soluble. And then we'll leave that sitting there for a minute while we prepare the soil. Okay, that's fully dissolved. Now, we get a soil sample. So what we're going to do is screen some of the soil using the little screen. Uh, and we're taking the soil right, this is really important, we're going to take the soil right beside the roots. Now we're really looking for optimum how things at their best and everything hangs around those roots. Remember, the roots that the plant is giving away 30% of its total glucose production, it gives, it feeds to the soil life. So the soil life is accumulated in huge numbers the highest numbers you'll find anywhere in the field will be right next to those roots. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that best case scenario to see where you're at, how much life you've got happening in your paddock. So we take some soil, very crumbly, beautiful soil. 
and we'll run it through through this. We, we're trying to we're trying to secure one gram. It's a little bit wet, which might make it a bit more difficult. We're trying to secure a gram of soil. That's all all that we need initially. Uh, screen. We don't want any rocks or any other organic matter, pieces of undigested organic matter or anything in in, in amongst the mix. And we want just soil. And so we've got our soil. We've screened our soil with a little screener. Uh, and now we're going to take this little syringe and we're going to suck up or feed into this syringe one gram of that soil. So there's some, there's some marks on the side showing us where one gram is. And then we're going to compress that one gram to half a gram. We might have to let a little bit out to do that. So let's have a look here where the half gram mark is. It was really tight, it was really compressed, and we didn't have to let any out, that was just sufficient. So there's our one gram, and then we empty that one gram into the test tube with the dissolved powder in it. And then we turn our little stereo machine, and this time it's 30 seconds to completely sort of break the microbes a little from, the concept here is we're trying to break the microbes a little bit from the soil, uh, and this uh, chemical solution is going to kind of encapsulate them, then we'll show what you do next. But there's a 20 minute process until that next stage. We do this for 30 seconds. So. Thirty seconds of, of beating the microbes off the humus base in the soil, uh, and then we're going to leave that sitting for twenty minutes. Uh, it's a twenty-minute process while the sort of powders encapsulate uh, the organisms, and then we click onto our microbiometer app, uh, which activates the camera, uh, and we'll explain how that works when we get to that point. But our thirty seconds is almost up; just ten more seconds, and then we'll leave it sitting for that twenty-minute period. So that stirred her up. Now we'll wait for 20 minutes and then we're going to teach you how we do the next stage of this test. Okay, so our 20 minutes has passed and now we're going to do the next stage of this test. And you begin that process, and I'll use my iPad in this instance. Of course, you can just use your phone uh, by basically downloading. You've already done this if you've bought a machine though. Uh, you're downloading the microbiometer app. Basically, it gives you the choice of what you're going to be testing. Uh, first of all, we're going to um, start the test. And when we start the test, um, then we get given asked the choice. Is it an extract? Is it a compost tea, a compost? Is it a container soil? Uh, or is it a soil? And of course, we're going to tap on soil. Um, and basically, we talk about, I'll just say Colin. And then we take our little card. We put this down on the table. And we take just three drops of this fluid that's been sitting here where the powder has encapsulated the microbes that have been drawn from the clay or beaten from the clay. We put three drops onto here. And then we activate, when we, when we go to the next stage of this, we actually activate. The camera's activated, the little light in the camera's activated, and we line up this little square with the square on the camera. Well, hard to do with it. And when we get it exactly lined up, it will give us our reading as it's just done. Now, what we're talking about here uh, is actually not not as high as previously. That we've had a higher fungal content in that mix. Uh, this time we've got 40% fungi, 6% bacteria. So we probably didn't need it. I mean, we were taking it from a legume, though, which you know usually would give you a bit more fungal. Uh, and uh, we've got a reading of 600 micrograms, which is a really nice reading for the, from that thing. So it's, you need to be about 400 and you're 600. That's, that's that beautiful soil working. But it's looking like this, the fungal component needs a little bit of a boost up, a little bit of humic acid or whatever uh, in that scenario. So that's how we use uh, the microbiometer.